Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk through some of the items from my closet that I really regret decluttering over the years. So these were things that at the time I felt didn't have a place in my wardrobe or I was just going ham on getting rid of things, trying to get down to a number and I decided to part ways with them and now I'm wishing I hadn't. If you've been a long time subscriber, then you've probably seen me call my closet multiple times. It's something that I generally would do at the start of, you know, the autumn, winter or the spring, summer season, or even at the start of the year. I think it's good to kind of run through your clothing and see what you are and are not wearing. But these are things that I really wish I had hung on to and I really do like to kind of go back and analyze decisions that I've made in the past. Maybe I'm overthinking things, but I do find it helpful in terms of helping me frame decisions moving forward and hopefully making better choices. So I've got, I think it's nine or 10 items here and this is really not an exhaustive list, but I just wanted to run through the things that I'm actually kind of keeping my eye out for on the pre-love market in case they ever pop up. So. The first one that I'm going to mention, I think, is going to be one that many of you are going to say, I knew you should never have part ways with that, and that was my Acne Studios Mape Leather Jacket. Now, this was a huge investment. It was one of the first kind of big purchases that I made when Luke and I moved to Sydney, so that was... Uh, I think six years ago now and I really love this leather jacket I wore it pretty much every single day I mean the, I remember the winter was so mild that year that I was wearing that leather jacket instead of a coat and I adored it went with absolutely everything and then I think it must have been the second or the third year that I had it perhaps uh, I sort of fell out of love with the silhouette I found that it was just really kind of oversized. The leather had relaxed so much. It felt kind of big on me. And now that's actually something that I really wish I had in my wardrobe. I wish I had something that was a little bit boxier and a little bit more oversized and relaxed. So it was very perfectly worn in. Uh, and one of the reasons why I sort of feel like I sold it at the time was we were saving for our wedding. And I felt like the money from the sale of that jacket could be put to better use in terms of putting towards having uh, the wedding that we really wanted to have. So that was kind of, I think, one of the justifications for me selling it. Uh, now I'm kind of just keeping my eye out on acne like the jackets to see if any of them go on sale um, preferably in a dark color maybe sort of a forest green or a really deep dark navy but yeah definitely one I wish I had held on to this next item is a little bit more niche and if you've been following my blog for years then you may actually recognize it it's a dress from Kiralee Johnston I had this in the black and in the white and I loved both of them it was just such a beautiful dress it had long sleeves it was cotton a really nice stretch cotton with a bit of a rib to it and then it had this really cool asymmetrical hemline and it belted at the waist and I don't know why I decided to sell both of those dresses it was sort of one of my most worn pieces for such a long time and it's one of those things that I remember you could put it on it was just a whole outfit you didn't have to worry about any other details and because the silhouette of it was so interesting and unique it was really special just on its own despite being a stretch cotton so I've been keeping my eye on the pre-love market for this one <laughs> I'm crossing fingers that I will eventually stumble across it may take me a few more years knowing my luck. Uh, next with a pair of trousers and I actually had these in a really unusual color choice for me. It was kind of a really bright orangey tomato-y red color. Uh, they were from Karen Walker and they were a tie waist pair of trousers and they were from the Sea Monsters collection. I can't remember if I actually had also purchased them in the navy. It was kind of around the time that I was spending a lot of my disposable income at Karen Walker and buying up all the items that I love from the collection and not really shopping anywhere else. <laughs> Um, and yeah, these trousers, they were really cool. They were super high-waisted, which as you guys know, considering that I have quite a long torso, is a silhouette that I personally really like on me. That shape, I just find it works because it helps to balance out my proportions. Had a cropped leg length, again, something that I always look for in a trouser. And they were really comfortable as well. I'm not sure if I sold them because they might have been a touch small on me uh, or the red ones in particular I know it was because I found them really difficult to style. The color was just so rich and vibrant and I felt like people were staring at me whenever I wore them. If I had the navy ones, those ones in particular though, I've got no idea why I decided or would have decided to part ways with them. So I am hoping I'll be able to find these trousers again because they were kind of the perfect 
cut. Uh, they were made from a viscose though, so as you guys know, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with viscose, and it's generally something I tend to avoid because if you hand wash it, it will shrink like 99% of the time. So they're a dry clean only piece, and I do prefer more often than not to try and keep items in my wardrobe much more low maintenance in terms of care. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find those ones again. Next one is another one that I think if you're a long time subscriber, you will also be wondering why I parted ways with, and they are the Valentino Rock Studs. I had these in the kitten heel height, and they were so comfortable, so easy to walk in, and they just felt really special on, but I don't think I ever really wore them aside from maybe once or twice because I was so worried about damaging them. I bought them when I worked at David Jones and so I was able to get 20% discount which was great because they were so expensive. I think full retail here they were around $1400 which is just outrageous when you think about it for a pair of shoes. Got no idea what I was thinking. In my mind I sort of had thought that they would be my wedding day shoes when Luke and I got married. but. Ultimately, I decided against that, uh, but yeah, they, they were just a shoe that I felt was languishing in my closet and I decided for that reason that it was better to part ways with them rather than hanging on to them. Now, because my lifestyle is very different, I don't have a super long commute, so I'm not walking, uh, you know, very long distances unless I'm actually going out on a walk and I'm doing that very intentionally. I feel as though they would have been a better piece in my wardrobe. And now I'm kind of tossing up whether or not I purchase a pair in the kitten heel style, but maybe in a different color. Maybe something that's a little bit more wearable or a black, because as you guys know, I tend to wear quite a lot of black on a daily basis. So I would love to know what you guys think because I'm aware that rock stud style is no longer trendy, but for me, when I when I consider items that I'm gonna have in my closet for a long time, whether or not it's trendy doesn't really come into it. So for me, I personally just love the shoe. I love the look of the shoe and they are really comfortable. So that's kind of why I wanna have it in my wardrobe. But yeah, would love to know your opinion on that. The next piece that I regret decluttering is a really beautiful floral skirt from Ellery. If you're watching one of my recent What I Wear in a Week videos, I talked about how I purchased a pair of earrings from Ellery and how a lot of the items that are in her collections these days are completely out of my price range. This skirt I think I bought from one of the sample sales because quite often she would do kind of these huge sample sales uh, in Surrey Hills and it was a, yeah, just a really nice uh, high-waisted floral mini skirt and it was really beautiful. It kind of had a grey uh, background to it with this beautiful floral design and I loved the cut of the skirt because it wasn't A-line but it wasn't super bodycon or anything. It was just in between. It was kind of that Goldilocks fit. And again, I don't know why I decided to get rid of this. I think I was on this ridiculous decluttering spree where I wanted to get down to a certain number and I felt like I needed to have a very specific color palette. It was during a time when I was doing capsule wardrobes and I was really trying to minimize everything I had. I think these days I'm much more realistic about the fact that I really enjoy fashion and I want to be able to have fun with it and have fun with my wardrobe, but I also want to be as considered or as intentional as I can about it as well. So yeah, I, I think that was why I decided to part ways with it, wishing I'd held on to it because it's very similar in terms of shape to the Christopher Kane skirts that I've got in the camo print. So I know that I would still be getting so much wear out of it. So again, another one that I'm keeping my eye out on the pre-love market for. Oh, okay. Another expensive shoe that I wish I'd hung on to were the Chloe Susanna boots. You guys remember when these were such a thing? They were so popular. Everyone had them, it seemed like. They were so hard to get your hands on, but they are horrendously expensive shoes. And I get why, because they're completely studded. You can kind of imagine the amount of work that would have gone into creating these shoes. They've got, you know, a lot of embellishment to them. I bought these off eBay and I got them for such a good price. I want to say I bought them for around $300 or $400 New Zealand as well, which is just crazy. I bought them just before Christmas, so I suspect a lot of people weren't looking on eBay at the time to buy anything. And yeah, I really... Like, I love the look of the shoes. Uh, I managed to damage them <laughs> maybe the second time I wore them. I think I got a little scuff and I lost one of the, um, I lost one of the studs on them, which was really disappointing. It was when I was at work and I tripped over something. I remember being so annoyed at myself for that. Uh, 
The reason why I sold them was because I never wore them. I didn't really reach for them and at the time my style was very different to, to what it is now. And I think had I held on to them, I probably would have ended up wearing them a lot. I don't really have any flat boots or you know boots that have a super low heel like that in my wardrobe so I think from that perspective they would have been really useful for me to have now just to have something really jazzy on my feet because you guys know I love a bit of a statement shoe. I did actually wish that I had gotten them in the blush pink with the silver hardware at the time that I purchased them just because I felt that that was a bit more in line with my style. They're a little bit more feminine than the black and gold uh, embellished pair but I will try and find some photos of me wearing them so you guys can see but another one that I regret parting ways with. Another more of a niche piece that was in my wardrobe was this really beautiful black cotton flowy, I think it was a cotton viscose trench from Dress Up. Dress Up is an Australian brand and I remember buying this, I think I got it on sale. It was a bit of a splurge, um, the brand is a little bit more expensive <laughs> um, and I really loved this trench. It was the perfect weight for Sydney's transitional months. Um, you guys know the weather here it doesn't really get that cold. I would say our winters on average are around 11 to 17 degrees Celsius so not super cold but you do feel it and having lived here now for you know six years I do find that I've 100% acclimatized but when I purchased it it was just the perfect transitional jacket really nice and flowy I love the way that it draped and the way that it hung Again, I do not know why I decided to sell this. But two other items I want to mention. The first one is a top from Karen Walker. And this was called the Slanting Frill Top. And I had it in both the black and in the cream. The cream one actually belonged to my mum. <laughs> but she purchased because she loved the way the black one looked on me. Uh, this was a really cool sort of a t-shirt style top. Which had frill detail. Uh, across the front and that was what I really loved about it. It was a dressed up tee. It felt special but it was still a really basic piece and you guys know I mean that's kind of what a lot of those basic foundational pieces in my wardrobe are centered around. I want to have basics that are elevated or have some kind of a special detail to them. Um, I think the reason why I decided to sell these is because I felt like they were a bit high maintenance. There's only so many times you can wear a top before you need to launder it and being made from viscose, again, see viscose, <laughs> and they need to be dry cleaned. I think I did try hand washing one of them once and it did shrink a little bit so that really put me off ever doing that again and I sort of really understood the importance of making sure I did dry clean them. So every time you're dry cleaning a top like that it's going to cost what 12 or 15 dollars depending on where you go. If you go to a good dry cleaner so that really adds up over time if you're wearing a top maybe once or tw you know twice if you can between washes or caring for it so that was why I decided to part ways with those tops I do still wish I had them in my wardrobe but overall I mean I know they're not the most practical things to be holding on to so yeah, that's another one and then the final thing that I really really regret decluttering from my wardrobe is a grand sweater from Hope. Hope is this really beautiful Swedish brand and I've owned a few things from them in the past and this sweater was in this beautiful peachy color, really nice and oversized and I've never come across this color again since. I think I bought it off eBay maybe. I know I didn't pay full price for it at any rate because it is quite an expensive sweater. It was cotton. Um, I think one of the reasons why I decided to part ways with it was because I felt there were only so many ways that I could wear it and at the time uh, while I was doing capsule wardrobes it was never one of those items that would really feature in my capsule because I felt like I was so limited with how I could wear it and also laundering a sweater like that as you can imagine it's a bit of a mission because you've got to hand wash it then you've got to kind of get as much of the water out of it. I will leave my clothing care video up here in case you'd like to go and watch that and see how I do hand wash my clothing and my knitwear. Uh, then you've got to leave it to dry flat and a sweater like that is going to take days and days especially in winter to actually dry. So I think those were the reasons why I decided to part ways with it. I did actually end up finding it in the black version on sale. It's a size smaller than I had the blush one in so a little bit more closer fitting and it's something that I am looking forward to wearing a lot more over the autumn winter season. I bought it towards the end of last year. Uh, but it's not the same because it's not the blush one. That color was just divine and, and like I said just never really seen anything like it since and it totally plays into my love of neutrals that I've got going on at the moment. 
So there you have it. That is nine items that I really regret decluttering from my wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's sort of something a little bit different to the usual. And it does remind me I really need to film another anti-haul video. I have kind of been keeping a little bit of a list. So that will be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I actually would love to know if there's anything from your wardrobes that you have regretted decluttering over the years. Please let me know in the comments section below. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you again next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.